Good looking car. Never seen one with a spoiler like that on the back. Okay, it's day 26 in a row of walking at least one mile every day for 30 days. And uh, it's 26 days in a row and I'm a little bit different part of the neighborhood today. So I'm gonna put the camera on and uh, we'll get going. You like cars and exotic cars. There's a special uh, place hidden down here. It's a, uh, I think they work, uh, it's a re body shop and uh, people, people don't know about it, but they uh, work on all types of exotic cars and it's hidden down this little alley up here. Nobody knows about it, but I've driven by it uh, many times and they always have uh, multiple, multiple Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, like million dollar cars and they're always just sitting out. I guess they put them out to work on them. the other ones in the garage, but they always seem to be working on at least anywhere from 10 to 20 different Ferraris or Lamborghinis uh, in one day. Some of them are in the garage and some of them are sitting out. So I'm going to walk by there and take a look at them. It should be, hopefully they'll have a bunch of them out today. But I guess they send them from all over the world to, or the country to be worked on here. So let's see how many they got out today. It looks like a few, three or four. I don't know how many are in the garage. There's a bunch of them. Usually, let's see what they got out today. Look at Ferrari. Another Ferrari. An older Ferrari. I don't know what year that one is. Never seen a Ferrari that color. This is a later model from Montana. What is that one? I still don't know. BB512I or something? I don't know what it is. They always have interesting cars. I guess they just painted this one. It's an older one. I don't know what year it is. That's a dealer, 512i. Across the street, your classic red Ferrari. Wide. It's a good looking car. I've never seen one with the spoiler like that on the back. It's an orange Lamborghini. Yellow Ferrari. What is this? This is a... Uh, I don't know what it is. What does it say on the front? Sunbeam. It's a Porsche over here. It's like it's just been painted. You can smell the paint. See in the garage, they got all bunches of them in there. Hood raises straight up there. Huh. It's a couple more Ferraris. They send them from all over the country. Walk around these two. See what model it is. Doesn't say. It says Ferrari. This one's from Arizona. Classic red F355 GTS. Clean. like a car show every time I walk past here.
<sighs> Fast cars. If you need your Ferrari worked on, this is the place to call. Like I say, it's kind of hidden down this alley. It's what looks like down the alley, it's just like an alley. And, uh, nobody really knows about it. Well, you guys get cars from all over the country here, huh? huh? You guys get cars to work on from all oh, over the yeah, country, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's different collections. And they just send them here, yeah, huh? Yeah, different collections. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot it's kind of these cars are uh, uh, rallied in Italy. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, that's, why, that's why you'll see some of them here with foreign plates. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a hidden gem back here, yeah. huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long you been here? I've been here eight years. There's guys that have been here 16 years. I think the place has probably been here a little over 20 years. Oh, 20 years, yeah. yeah. I drive by here every now and then just to see the cars yeah, parked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that, That's kind of the thing around yeah. the street, you know, everybody does. Yeah, it comes down. You get is... to the point where it's like, yeah, you're coming down Candy Cane Lane. Yeah, I know. That's cool, yeah. You got a bunch more in there too, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. We, we are a one-stop one, uh, one shop. Uh, we do restoration, we do service, we do rally support. You do body work too, or uh, not too much? Yeah, no, we do, we do body work. We have a we have a fabricator here. We have a machine shop. Oh, we man. have an engine dyno. Everything. Wow. The only thing we don't do here is, is is paint, but we get it finalized to where all they need to do is just spray. It. But we it's do ready all to go, the body huh? work, Everything. And then you just ship them back if they're across the country or or across the seas or overseas or something like yeah. that. Yeah. They usually will fly them over and if there aren't any other rallies they want to do, they'll, you know, send them by boat. Yeah, that's crazy. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these cars, it's more in June. You'll see a lot more of the uh, foreign uh, license plates. Oh, yeah. In April because uh, we'll get start start getting some of the cars, so we prep, we prep them here. Ever work on any Jay Leno's cars here? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> I don't even think I don't even remember if the uh, episode ever even uh, aired. Uh -huh. It was uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Lancia Zero. Okay. It's a concept car by uh, Bertone. No, I never seen it. Yeah. But, uh, He's got one, huh? Well, that was uh, I want to say maybe four or five years ago. Oh and yeah. I was able to. I went as the uh, technical. Uh, oh, advisor on uh, that. Uh, advisor on that car. Oh man. But uh, it was, it's a concept car. It's pretty crazy, but it was cool. But I, I remember I kept w waiting for that episode to air. We took two cars of the same owner. Yeah. And the other Lancia, right away, the episode came out. But oh. I, I at least never saw the, uh, the other one. With yeah, the, you have uh, a picture of it? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, it looks like you might work on anywhere from... Oh, yeah, that's sure. That one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It looks like a 300 you, miles an uh, hour car. The uh, windshield pops open. The windshield. And then you step into it and you're literally <laughs> oh, like laying down. But it was a con it's a concept it's a car. Concept. So, uh, Is it like a million dollar car? Uh, it's, it's, it's up there now. I mean, it's yeah. definitely... Uh, but uh, at the time, it was, it was, uh, it was uh, designed. Uh, Bertone wanted the uh, uh, Lamborghini to give him a shot at, at designing a car oh yeah so he uh designed that one to uh basically if i go to if i go to the gate they're not gonna let me in so i'm gonna <laughs> design something where i can it's low enough to where i can just drive right in and there's no way they're gonna turn me away from yeah car. And that was basically wow. the uh, idea behind that car so you guys were working on it here yeah we uh it actually sat i think before the the owner the current owner bought it 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 was a uh, it was in a museum really so it's it, it was it sat for a bit so it uh -huh. you know any car that sits that long it needs to be uh, anything rubber any hoses it's so we went through it uh make sure everything electrical was operating uh and made sure that it was safe because uh, when they go on the jay leno show they do they do end up driving they it. drive them yeah, yeah they drive them, they so. say that's the worst thing you can do for a car is just let it sit oh oh yeah it is yeah, we've had plenty of cars here that have come out of garages where it, the car looked clean on the outside yeah but that's and the thing is the moisture the uh years and years of it sitting you know it's sitting that anything in that engine bay that's metal just Rocks on the out like i said sometimes on the outside the paint <laughs> is what makes it still look pristine yeah. until you go in there and then you get things like that where it starts to pit in areas where you don't see it you just can't take it on the road yeah and you can and that's where the, and that's what happens it's you know oh let me just change the oil let me let me crank it o uh, yeah. over it'll start up 
but all of a sudden everything that that sat there and rotted and weakened yeah you're it's seeing pressures that that all, it wasn't seeing all of a sudden you've got blown gaskets blown even metal where it'll just you know you have pinhole leaks yeah yeah that's it's it's pretty common what was that just recently this week they found a, a bunch about 22 ferraris in some warehouse it hadn't been touched in a year did you see that uh no no but yeah. i mean it, it happens it happens from it was, time uh, to time i want to say what about six years ago uh-huh a ferrari that they found in an apartment an apartment in an apartment. Oh, okay. <laughs> in an apartment they actually had it on display in uh pasadena oh yeah uh, yeah they uh, have an event there every year uh i think the last i think after covid I don't yeah. think they ever did it again, but they actually had the car there on on display. It, oh, interesting. Somebody, you know, <laughs> I don't know where got they it in their apartment somehow. What, but they knew what they had, and they knew yeah. I got to take care of it, so they put it Man. in the apartment. Well, that's crazy. I always like to walk by here, so I appreciate you yeah, talking yeah. to oh, me. No, yeah. Every time you come, there's going to be something different. There's always something different. Yeah. They still got the Christmas lights up. We got a Bentley. We got a hundred thousand dollar Bentley there. We got a driveway that's redone. And another Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce, I didn't even notice it. Look at that. Huh? All kinds of nice cars. Stickers on their house. Weird. I'm gonna walk by this uh, a motorcycle here. Indian, the classic. Don't see any of those hardly ever. Man, it's a lot of interesting vehicles. Look at that. Indian Scout. It's a later model. They've been around forever. Yeah, I've never seen one really up close style like that. Indian Scout. Hmm. I've seen some older models on uh, TV and stuff that show a uh, American pickers, they always look for the old Indians. But that's a newer one, obviously. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll walk down here. Oh, big houses back here. Look at that house. It's like it's taking up the whole corner block. Wow. Got a Valentine's decoration. like these houses should be down at the beach. Cut across and look at this house. It's a bus. What car is this? Chrysler. Yeah, look at this house. That's the front door. Three car garage. It's a, is that a Hummer? I don't know what that is. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's weird. The side of their house is facing that street. You think the, you got the garage right here, you think the front door would be on this street. Huh. Look at this view. Wow. Oh, they got a coat of arms and all kinds of stuff. There's a couple of cars that can get out of the street. That coat of arms. You don't see that in any houses. Gargoyle statues. Look at this. Wow. Kinds of stuff. A unique street. A big house. Look at that. Like six bedrooms or something. A lot of stained glass windows. Wow. Here we go with an old car. What is this? Old Chevrolet. It's Malibu Impala. Old Impala. That's from the 70s. I don't know what year it is. Let me know if you know what year. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Body looks good. I don't know if that's the original color. It might be. Looks like it. The door handle's the same color. I got a feeling it might be. And they've, uh, look at this tree. That's a Bougainvillea tree, I think. Look at that. 
Usually in a vine, that's a tree, a bougainvillea tree. Huh.